Devry from BC Aquatics and this is how I changed my pool pump into a pond pump. And the sand that was in it wasn't clearing up the algae. Had a pea soup looking water and everything I did to try to clear it up wasn't working. So I went to the pet store and I got some bio balls dumped the sand out and this is how I set it up on some of your pumps the water goes down and comes up through the sand on this model the water is going to come in here, come out through the small vents, and then when it's leaving the filter, it's going to go out through the center. So that means the water is going to be going down through. The first thing that you want when the water comes in here is the uh, poly fiber. That's to get all the big chunks out of it. And then you're going to want your matting, then your bio balls, then your bags of charcoal at the bottom. So I'm going to take the bags of charcoal, lay them down at the bottom. Bowls. Dump them in there. This matting, you have to cut it to fit. That goes in there. And your polyfiber on top. That's to keep all the big chunks out of your matting underneath there. So don't get clogged up. And you can take your lid off and just clean this polyfiber out and reuse it if you want. And put it all back together and it worked great for me we're going on a second year with it and we'll see how it does and if you're going to have koi and goldfish in a pond in like the northern states where it gets colder at night down in the freezing um, your water, if it stays running, it's not going to freeze on you. You might get a little bit, uh, bit of crust on top of it. But if you have a, a pump like this running constantly, it, it's not going to freeze up on you. But if the power goes out, it could freeze. It could crack your pump. That's why I took it down and brought it inside for the winter. And your fish, if you're going to have them out there, under 50 degrees, you do not want to feed them. Their metabolism shuts down and they can't digest the food, so the food stays in their stomach and rots and it could kill your fish. So anything under 50 degrees, you want to stop feeding altogether. Once your temperatures uh, at nighttime stay above 50 degrees then you can feed them once a day the further you get away from 50 degrees up into 60s at night then you can feed them two three times a day
I hope this video helps anybody that is using a pool pump for a pond. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.